Did you know that you can edit your full video podcast for free on CapCut? Let's go through how to do it. The first thing that you want to do is organize your content. You may already have a process for this, but if not, I'm going to guide you through my organization system. The things that you'll need are CapCut Desktop Editor, which I've linked in the description. You can download it for free. You'll also need separate audio and video tracks for each speaker involved in your podcast episode, as well as any assets that you'll need like your introduction song, your introduction video, or your logo. So within my podcast folder, I like to have a folder that I can duplicate for new episodes. Within this folder, I have project files, which is where the project file from whatever editing software you are using will go. I also have my content folder. This is where any audio and video files will live. My assets have any assets that will be used in the episode, like podcast introduction, any ads that will go in the episode, and even your podcast logo. And exports is where the final exported product will live. So what you would do now, I've already done this, is duplicate this folder and rename it to the name of your episode, and then place all of your content, like your audio and video, in the content folder. If you record remotely on Riverside, you can download those high quality content files directly off their web and then throw them into that folder. Now let's get started with editing. Open CapCut and create a new project. Select import and import all of the files that will be used in your episode. Now you'll see all of your content here. Drag a file onto the timeline and drag the corresponding audio underneath. If you record on Riverside, which is an online recording studio made for podcasters, then your audio and video will already be synced up as soon as you download your files. But maybe you recorded on a camera and recorded your high quality audio separately. In that case, you'll want to synchronize your audio and video. Select both clips that need to be synced by pressing Command on your keyboard if you're on a Mac and selecting both of the clips. Now right click and navigate to Sync Video to Sound. Now you want to delete the original sound from the video. So highlight just the video, right click, and press extract audio. Now you want to delete that extracted audio by clicking on it and pressing delete on your keyboard. Follow the same process for your other speakers. Now you want to make sure that all of the audio of your speakers is level. As you play back the video, you'll notice a level meter underneath the playback video. You want to play back both speakers and make sure that they're taking up the same amount of blocks. So as you can see here, when I speak, it's filling up two blocks. But when my co-host speaks, it's only filling up one. So I'm going to increase the volume of my co-host. You can do this by selecting on the audio track and using the volume meter that appears on the right hand side. Besides that, there's not much you can do with your audio in CapCut. If you want to use noise reduction, which will remove a consistent background noise, you can do that by selecting the audio track and selecting noise reduction on the right hand side of the screen. Now we want to make a side by side view of each speaker. So select the top video track and use the scale slider to slide it down so it will only take up half the screen. Click and drag on the playback video to slide that speaker to one side of the screen. Now you want to do the same to the other video. If you have more than two speakers, you can use these controls to design the layout of your video. Now you see there's a black background, so maybe you want to change that to the color of your podcast. If you want to do this, what you're going to do is head to canva.com and create an account or log into an existing account. Create a new design and make the dimensions 1920 by 1080. Now you're going to select the canvas and head to the color wheel at the top left hand corner. Now you can change that whole canvas color to whatever color you'd like. You can also make this a gradient or a pattern. If you want to learn more about how to make a frame for your podcast, then you can head to the video linked above. To export that image, click share, download, and download it as a PNG. Head back to CapCut and import that image that you just created. Now you want to place that image underneath both of your video files. So you're going to select both video files by clicking and dragging over both files and dragging both files up one track on the timeline. Now you're going to click and drag that background image underneath both of your video files. Hover over the background image on the timeline and you're able to drag it to fit the whole video podcast episode. Now you have a branded background. If you want to add your logo, you can drag your logo onto the timeline 
and drag it to fill up the whole video podcast episode as well. You can use the scale slider to change the size of your logo, and you can click and drag to move it around to anywhere on your frame. All right, now everything is designed and you're ready to make your edits. Select all tracks on the timeline by clicking the timeline and dragging across all of the tracks. Now right click and press create compound clip. This is going to group everything together so when you make any cuts in the episode, the conversation stays in sync. If you want to add your introduction into the episode, you can click and drag your introduction file to go in front of your full podcast episode. If you need to zoom in on the timeline, there's a zoom tool in the middle right hand corner. Now perhaps you want to add a transition from your introduction into your podcast episode. Head to transitions in the top left. You can pick any of these transitions and click and drag them in between your introduction and your podcast episode. Now we have a nice transition into the episode. Now it's time to play back your episode and cut out any parts that you want deleted. I know that there's a lot of pre-ramble in my podcast episode and I wanna get rid of that. So I'm going to find where my episode starts and place my playhead there and split the clip by pressing command B or using the split function in the middle left hand side. Now I'm going to select that pre-ramble and press delete on my keyboard and it will delete it out of the final file. Continue to eliminate parts that you don't want throughout the episode. To do this, identify a part that you want taken out of the episode, place the playhead at the beginning of that clip and press command B on your keyboard. That's going to split the clip in half. Then you want to find where the clip ends that you want deleted, place the playhead there, press command B on your keyboard again, and that's going to split the clip. Now you can select that clip and press delete on your keyboard and it will delete it from the final file. When you're done making edits to the content, it's time to export your final file. Head to file, export, name your episode, and make sure it saves to that exports folder that you created during the organization process. Depending on your camera settings, you can export in up to 4K, and you want to make sure that the file format is MP4 format. Besides that, you can leave everything else the same. Press export, and once it's exported, it will be available to view in your exports folder. Congratulations, you've successfully learned how to edit a podcast on CapCut. Now I'm going to let you know of a much easier way to do this exact same edit. If you record your podcast episodes on Riverside, then you can use our text-based editor to edit your full video podcast. Simply head into the editor, and you can add your introduction at the beginning of the video. You can take out any parts using the split and remove tool. You can arrange the layout of the episode and even add a background, captions, and a logo. When you export, you have the option to remove background noise and export into up to 4K quality, depending on your camera capability. Yes, it's that easy. And a bonus is that Riverside's Magic Clips feature will create social media optimized clips of the most interesting sections of your recording using AI. With these skills, you can create professional quality video podcasts and take your podcast to the next level. Remember to take your time and keep practicing. Watch this video as many times as you want, and soon you'll be a pro at editing your podcast. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss another video from Riverside. If you have any questions about what was seen in this video, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.